Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to back up your Windows 11 operating system. In this video, we're going to talk about a software in particular, which is called Minitool Shadow Maker. Minitool Shadow Maker also has a free version that you can use and back up your Windows 11 operating system, whether that would be a system partition or some files or even your whole operating system. In this video, we're going to talk about that. Once you install the software, of course, the installation process is really simple. You're going to notice that also the interface of the software is really intuitive. Basically, if you are in the home tab, you're going to notice some information about your system. Of course, I have multiple partitions on this laptop with multiple operating systems installed. And in the backup source section, we can see our partitions, last backup, the next backup, and also available restore images. We have the backup section where we can start selecting the source and the destination of our backup. Also sync, which will basically allow us to sync different files from different locations. Restore, of course, in this section, you will be able to to restore a backup, select the location of that saved backup from before and restore your backup and also manage where you can manage backups if you add a certain backup, logs and also additional tools, media builder, add bit menu, dismount, clone disk, BXE, remote and system booster. Now for the beginning of the video, we're just going to do a backup and we're going to select the source. I'm going to select folders and files, the partition that I'm right now on. I'm going to go into users and then into the video section and I'm just going to select a file from here. I'm just going to back up this file so that the process won't take that long. I'm going to click on OK. We have the file here and let's select the destination. Of course, this nation should be an external hard drive, maybe an USB. It's not recommended to back up anything on the same computer, but I'm just going to back everything up on another partition on the desktop and then click on OK. And then you have some additional options. If you click on options, you also can compress things if you want. And you can also click on schedule settings if you want to schedule your backup. Just turn it on and then you can schedule schedule it for daily or weekly, monthly, or also on event. And basically you can select an event what you want to back up. But of course, this is an option that only works for Minitool Shadow Maker Pro. Now I'm just going to uncheck this, click on OK. And then you also have the backup later thing. If you click on the backup arrow on the blue button, I'm just going to click on backup now and then click on OK. As you can see right now, the backup will start. We're just going to have to wait for this backup to be finished. And as you can see, we now have our backup. If we click on it, we're going to have some additional options. For example, delete, verify, browse, restore, mount, edit schedule, edit scheme, and locate image. Let's, for example, click on verify and see if everything is okay. As you can see, everything is okay. The files are verified. Now, after we've done the backup, we have, of course, more options. We have the logs where you can see what we've backed up, if everything was successful, and it was. And also on the home screen, we're going to be able to see the last backup that we've done. Now, of course, if you want to restore a backup, for example, your file was deleted or something like that, you can just go into the home section and go into the available restore images and then restore now. And then you're going to see this file that is available to restore. Then you can click on restore next, and then you can select the backup version next and the destination path, of course, where you want to save it if you want to do that. I think overall, the software is really simple to use and it being free, of course, allows you to do a backup of your system for free. As I've said, let's now check out the additional tools that they have. We have Media Builder. If we click on it, you're going to notice that we have an WinP media based with Minitool plugin, which will allow allow us to create media that will be inserted in our Windows boot menu. Also, we can add it to our boot menu, of course, if we want. We also have the option to dismount clone disk, which is also a pretty interesting thing, which we can do to clone our Windows disks if we want. And you also have some additional disk clone options, new disk and also disk clone mode. You can do this by use sector clone or sector by sector clone, which will basically copy all your sectors, whether used or not. And for those of you who don't know the difference in this, of course, you can check out more about how an SSD or an HDD works. BXE is a feature that only works in the Minitool Shadow Maker Pro version and remote as well. And also System Booster is an additional app that you need to install if you want to use it. But as I've said, overall, Minitool Shadow Maker is a very good free backup tool that you can use in Windows and you can use it, as I've said, to back up your whole system, a partition, individual files and so on. I think it's pretty useful. And also you have the additional tools that you can use, Media Builder, the boot menu and also dismounting this alongside with clone disk. Make sure to check out Minitool Shadow Maker from the description below. And of course, check it out for yourself. See if it's the perfect backup software for you. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Yamana from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.